Adam McChesney. I'm a junior at Columbia College, uh, majoring in sports management, marketing, and human resource management. So kind of just going to talk about the intern's point of view. Um, and I've worked both a unpaid internship this past summer for the River City Rascals in uh, O'Fallon, Missouri. Uh, so that was uh, last summer. And then currently I have a paid internship with Clarius Interactive, which is a local uh, social media management company. Um, but basically just an overview, going to give my background um, and experience, go through the paid and unpaid from you know the intern's point of view, and then the mind of the intern, and some real world experience. Uh, so last summer I was a uh, marketing press box and ticketing intern, and then now currently uh, work in the social media management uh, industry. For the River City Rascals, um, the pros and cons. Um, first, beginning with the pros. Um, a lot of interns, like mentioned many times today, want that real world experience and that was something that I definitely got working with the minor league baseball team. Uh, being a sports management and marketing major, it was really nice to get the different hats um, and what I mean by that is um, working with a minor league baseball team is different from working with a major league baseball team and that's kind of translated over to small working with a small business is going to be a lot different from working with a Fortune 500 company or a bigger company like that. Just because you're going to be exposed to a lot of different areas. So I definitely encourage if you have an intern to let them get an experience that is going to be different from, you know, a lot of the other internships where you're just focused in on the marketing side. Let them, you know, be open to other areas to see what they like and, and don't like. As far as the cons go, one of the big things was unpaid, especially because of the long hours. Um, I would work anywhere from 40 to almost sometimes when they would be in town for 10 days in a row, but over 100 hours. Um, so it was a very demanding, um, and a lot of times it was unorganized. Um, I, I got the internship, I applied for it in March. I let them know within the next week that I didn't want to do it because I was accepted and then I didn't hear from them again until two days before I was supposed to go into my orientation. Um, so that was very unorganized. And I would like, you know, a lot of the other interns that I worked with, there was 10 of us, we were honestly confused as if we still had the internship. So um, it, it, more communication, I think, is one of the things that, that I would stress. And uh, what I like, I just started this Clarius Interactive internship um, just of last month. So all I have so far is, is really good things um, about that. What we do at Clarius is we manage uh, social media, the Facebook and Twitter act, uh, you know, portions of their company um, for different companies throughout the Columbia area. So country clubs, golf organizations, it's basically golf based. But one of the nice things about that is it's structured. I know what I need to do each and every week. We sit down on Monday, they give me what I need to do, and that's where it goes hand in hand with organization. Um, organization <coughs> and structure are two different things though. You can have a nice structure, I can know what I need to do, but it could be very unorganized. Um, I know what I need to do, I have set deadlines, and I get the hands-on experience. Um, and what I mean by that is I'm the one Make, uh, making the Facebook statuses, the event pages, and tweeting, and, and doing pretty much everything that, I, that they do there. I'm getting that opportunity to do that. So it's, it's very lucky for me to be able to do that, but I think the more and more opportunities that you give your interns to feel a part of the company, get that responsibility um, that a lot of them talk about, that's a huge thing because they're more likely to, to want to, to be more successful for not only themselves, but for the company as a whole. And so for the paid versus the unpaid, especially during the school year, um, the internship I'm doing right now is paid and that's very nice because you need, you know, you need to pay the rent, you need, you need to pay utilities, you need to pay food, gas, things like that, especially if you're having to drive, you know, a, a hefty distance to and from your internship. Um, I had a lot of flexibility last summer um, for the internship and in means of if you had to work a, a different job to, to pay those bills and things like that. So they were very um, flexible with me with that, you know, doctor's appointments, vacations, um, things like that. They were very flexible just because of the unpaid aspect. If it were a paid aspect, I don't think 
it would have been as flexible. You also have to have different expectations because if, you know, in some cases, kids were paying for the, house, the housing on their own in O'Fallon last summer, so they obviously had to get another job. So if they had to come in, you know, an hour or two late, um, that, you know, they, that, they couldn't really say anything about that just because they were paying to live there if they were from out of town. Um, and then as far as the expectations for the paid, I think, you know, it's easier to know, all right, I need to be there at this time because you're not going to show up late if you're getting paid. You're not going to do, you know, you're not going to take big vacations or anything like that if you're set in stone to work that certain amount of time. And then if you are offering an unpaid internship, I would say to definitely have other incentives. I know some people that I know that have done internships out of town have been offered housing, things like that definitely make it easy to give the student college credit so that they can work you know in, in order to get college credit that they probably need in order to graduate and then things such as um, if you have a cafeteria on site things like that uh, I've heard of things like that as well um, other you know if other gear you know I worked for the baseball team we were able to get you know you know all the, all the gear and stuff that we needed for free um, in order to wear for that game and the games and we got to keep those so that was a nice incentive um, the mind of the intern we like it uh, at least in my experience working with uh, you know 10 interns last summer we liked having responsibilities we liked being held accountable for what we were supposed to be doing and that with that comes deadlines and due dates if we you know <coughs> got there on Monday and said all right by the Friday night game you guys have to get so many Facebook statuses out tweets out you know, try to get as many sales calls as you guys can possibly do by Friday. And if you give them, you know, a deadline of five o'clock with how many people they need to contact, it was a lot better. And then with that, having a support staff, so making it available, if it's not you, making it available that someone else in the company is able to meet with them, like mentioned before, you know, maybe once or twice a month, but just letting them know, you know, hey, you know, I'm a little uncomfortable here and this back as aspect of, of what I need to be doing on the day to day but I want to figure out you know, a way that I will be able to, to better do it. And then just keeping um, involved in the company, um, I think we wanted to know more and more what was going on in the day-to-day -day operations just because we felt like we were a part of the company and not just someone that, okay, hey, you know, can you go get coffee or can you, you know, do the little things. We liked being delegated some of those bigger tasks. And one of the things that, like in my internship right now, I feel like, they were able to delegate. They knew who I was. They knew what I was capable of. They were able to delegate some of the bigger tasks to me just because they knew what I had brought to the table and things like that. So I think that if you're feeling, you know, that you might not be able to trust the, <coughs> the intern that you have, I think it, once you know who they are and know what they're capable of, it's easier to delegate, and that's, that helps. It takes a lot off your plate. And then the real world experience, and that's the ultimate goal for the intern, and that's also the ultimate goal for um, you know the company as well. You want to you have your intern, you know, be able to advance outside of the internship that they're doing, and with that is the day to day operations to be involved, you know, each and every day when you get to the office of knowing what's going on that day, and then to ultimately meet different people, meet people, you know, that you work with, you know, with the, with the internship I'm, right, I'm doing right now, I've met all the clients that we do the social media management for. So that's very helpful to, to know them, you know, if I finish this internship, but, you know, the country club needs somebody to come on as a marketer, you know, just those kind of connections. And then ultimately the sense of belonging. It's, it's nice to know that they appreciate what you do uh, for them but then to know that you have a place at the company, you have a workplace that you can go to no matter, no matter how many hours a week, unpaid or paid, just knowing that you're a part of that organization and a big part of it. And then, so here's the summary. Just you know, remember the, the differences between the paid and the unpaid, that we do have a mindset that we um, think about you know, day in and day out throughout the entire internship. And then ultimately, we just want the real world experience that you know anybody wants um, when working in an internship. Thank you.